What's up, farty people? Today's video uh, is something I didn't really plan on doing this video, but this is something that's affected me since I was a child, and I think it probably has affected a lot of you as well. And uh, I just felt like now is a good time to, to bring this to light. And that is my hatred of all things popcorn. Popcorn's disgusting. Tastes burnt and nasty. I hate it. Gets stuck in your teeth. But that's not really the popcorn I want to talk about today. Let's talk about popcorn on ceilings. I happen to be at uh, our old house that we're getting ready to paint and sell. And if you know me, you know how much I love painting. I mean, it's probably my favorite thing. The only thing I could think of that I like better than painting is getting maybe a two by four stuck in my eye. But before we can paint in here, I've got to get this ceiling scraped. I've done this several times over the years to varying success because it's just a miserable process. And then I've seen some other people do it and I was like, mm, stupid, why didn't I think of that? And so that's the way I'm gonna do it today and that's what I'm gonna show you. The first thing you'll need for this project is a sprayer. You can use a little spray bottle and fill that with water if you want or uh, one of those pump sprayers like you would spray weeds around your yard. This is kind of like the miniature version of that. <laughs> The next thing you'll need is like a wide putty knife or what is actually a taping knife. And you can see I've got this, uh, this is a 12 inch taping knife that I have taped to a painter's pole. And this is what I'm gonna scrape the ceiling with. Because we're remodeling this place, the carpet's already torn out of here, so that makes it a lot easier. If that wasn't the case, obviously you'd wanna put some plastic down on the floor. Okay, I've given that just a couple seconds to soak in. Let's make it rain. Once you get the majority of it scraped to the edge, make sure you take a broom or something and go ahead and knock that off. And then knock everything off of the walls so that it doesn't dry on there. So this works on painted or not painted popcorn ceilings. Um, it actually works a lot easier if the ceilings have not been painted. You can see here on this dry popcorn ceiling that when you spray the water on it, you can actually see it soaking in. So you can, act, you can see a lot easier where you've sprayed it and watch how much easier this popcorn comes off. When the ceiling has been painted, the popcorn comes off in sheets. When it hasn't been painted, it comes off just in powder, basically. The ceiling that had been painted probably took me about 15 minutes. The ceiling that had not been painted probably took about 10 minutes. I'll have a little bit more touch up on the ceiling that had been painted just because I had to push a little bit harder so the knife did dig in a few places. But as you can see, it's very easy to do. It, there's no excuse to not get your popcorn off your ceiling because don't nobody want no popcorn on a ceiling. See you next time. Kettle corn. Kettle corn's not bad. I can stomach kettle corn. Still not my favorite.